The Gift is a film that I was truly fond of from start to finish. I love the concept of it. I think that's what works best for me. Obviously, the acting is fantastic. We have a great cast. But for me, the narrative sounded so promising and it was so fantastically executed that I just was compelled from start to finish. This was released originally in 2015, written and directed by Joel Egerton and starring Jason Bateman, Rebecca Hall and Egerton. And the narrative description from IMDb is as follows. A married couple, Simon and Robin, run into Gordo, an old acquaintance. Things take a turn when Gordo begins to drop in unannounced at their house and inundates them with mysterious gifts. Who doesn't love the concept of a mysterious gift? Unfortunately, weird things start to happen and they begin to question people around them. Um, particularly, I feel Robin, Robin, who is, is uh, played by Rebecca Hall, and I find it a really interesting character study and it makes you question who you can trust and who you know who is around you. And having this these gifts is obviously kind of going to mess with your head because on the one hand, getting a gift is a really positive thing. It's, you know, it's a nice gesture, but at the same time, it just makes me think of the box at the end of seven you never know what's going to come up next you can't trust anybody for me this is going to mess with your head and that's why I love it because everything you seem to know and everybody you seem to trust suddenly maybe not maybe that's not the case maybe the past is not actually in the past one thing I don't like this is the title of the gift not really the biggest fan of the title. I kind of get it. The tagline is the past will be your present. Maybe the present would have been a better title. I don't know. It's just something off the top of my head. But if the title is the thing that I like least about this, then the film's doing pretty well for its itself. The lighting's not my favourite, but we have some good directing, some nice camera angles, some great close-ups, costumes fine, nothing extravagant. The presents are relatively varied I was sitting thinking well what's it going to be next who's going to get it next what's going to happen next um Gordo as a character is very interesting Gordo played by Egerton uh, Jason Bateman's character is called Simon and it's not the best film I've ever seen by which I mean there are things for example the lighting just felt really dark quite a lot without being atmospheric and I liked the pacing, but there were times when I thought it could have quickened up a little bit. It's almost two hours. They could have cut out a decent amount. But I still truly love this film, and I truly enjoyed it, and I would watch it again. 7 out of 10 on IMDb, meta score of 77. It's done very well for itself. I don't know anybody who's seen it who hasn't liked it, but of course there will be people out there. It won several awards. Uh, Egerton won the Best Supporting Actor at the Fangoria Chainsaw Awards, which is a fantastic name for an accolade. It also won the Sitges at the Catalonian International Film Festival. Best Actor. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's had a lot of nominations. Um, there's the Blood Guts UK Horror Awards. It was nominated for Best Film. Fantastic. Love these independent accolades with um, focus on horror films. Really great film. If you haven't seen it and you like thrillers, psychological thrillers, films with a nice, juicy, meaty bit of mystery, I think The Gift is one that'll appeal to you.